hello and welcome to the show. I'm here on Street Legal Racing Redline for some more building of cars. My vehicle today is a Holden Commodore Ute. Pretty damn rare to find one of these cars in a video game, I'll be honest. Apart from Grid Autosport, I don't think I've ever seen one. I can't think of any other game that has had a use, and certainly not in recent times that I've played. So yeah, I'm going to give this uh, give this car a build. Now, in the in the Holden mod that I've used for this, there are lots of different versions of the Commodore, including a full-on V8 supercar that I may well have a go with at some point. But for today, I wanted to have a go with the with the Ute. I've had a, been having a little bit of problem, I'll be honest, with. Uh, <laughs> With the engines, I was going to use a different V8 engine in this one. Unfortunately, when I went and put all of the parts together and installed it, it said I needed a radiator, which is fair enough. Could I find a radiator anywhere in the catalogue? No. So, <laughs> I'm hoping this engine that I've got here will be a bit nicer. I've gone for the full-blown drag racing engine. Big, very powerful, I'm not sure if I didn't use this one before, big powerful V8, very powerful, like seriously powerful <laughs> V8 that I think I may have, may have used, uh, might have used this on the ridiculously powered Fiat, possibly, I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, yes, this is going to be probably very, very difficult to control. <laughs> If I'm honest, when it's all when it's all built, uh, we've got uh, oh I didn't see what quite what gearbox this comes with. I had to build, I had to buy the pre-built version of the engine and then take it apart for the build because uh, it's a pain in the ass finding stuff. So, uh, do, can we hmm, can we get the gearbox back off again? I wanted to have a look. What are you? The uh, super lock-up racing transmission. I mean that doesn't <laughs> super lock-up doesn't fill me with confidence. It's not normally a good thing. I don't know. It doesn't. Don't know if it's rear wheel drive. Do we? Can we fine tune? No, that's brake balance. Can we fine tune? We can't. We can't tune it. So it's going to be whatever it's going to be. Uh, exhaust. This is not a turbocharged. This has got one humongous supercharger uh, on it. Here we go. We'll stick these on. A fairly simplistic engine, actually. Not too many parts to get this one working. Uh, we stick on the uh, thing. The ignition. That's what it is. Time and chain cover can go on there. Alternator. The alternator drive belt. And then we get the interesting parts. Uh, whoopsie, we probably better put these on uh, in the correct order. There we go. And then we get a whopping great big supercharger with a sticky outy bit at the top. I don't know why was that on th I don't know why that was on three. Um, <laughs> then we get the bug catcher on the top. So there we go, the engine barely fits in the car. I actually might have moved that a little bit too far forward. And thank you to people telling me that I could actually do this. I the old version of the game I used to have, uh, wait, whoops, when I used it on my old computer, the version I had didn't allow me to move the, shunt the engine around uh, with this method. I had to do it all in a separate program. Uh, that looks a little bit better. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit more like it. It's not quite sticking out so much at the front. So there we go. We've got an awesome, awesome looking engine. Uh, <laughs> I will be honest, just looking at this, it might be quite hard to see out of with all of that above. I mean, look at the... <laughs> Uh, you, oopsie! Can we can we zoom in to a, a driver's eye view of the oh driver's eye view of the car? Just just kind of issue. You can kind of get the idea. Yeah, that must be really annoying trying to drive one of the cars with the bug catchers on the front. It, <laughs> it just blocks up how. I mean, it's cool. It looks cool from the outside. Driving it must be a pain. Now, have we got everything the engine needs to work? That is the question. Please be working. Yes, we do. It doesn't break. Awesome. We have got oh, we got a lot of power. 4,600... <laughs> Jesus, can I can I get any more out of you? There are ways to fine-tune and twiddle stuff that sometimes can be... Oh, I'm not going to touch that, any of that, actually, because I don't want to break it all. <laughs> Some engines can get quite picky, and I don't want to mess that all up again. Right, so that is the engine of our car done. Uh, suspension, I, I pre-installed all the suspension. We've got racing parts, we've got uh, V8 supercar brakes, uh, track suspension, so we should have plenty of grip. We should be pretty good through the... Well, I say pretty good. We should be good as any other car through the corners. Uh, right, now on to... Let's get some wheels on this damn thing first off. We want to go running gear. Rim size 70... Was 70 what I used last time? I'm not sure. Oh, had, oh there we go. A little bit, little bit slow on the loading there. Um, all right, let's have a quick flick through here. Have we got any, any interesting... I don't suppose we've got proper V8 supercar wheels or the, the ute wheels. 
in here. I don't know what I'd be looking for, really, even. Uh, unless it says V8 Supercar or Ute on them. I don't know what they look like. Uh, do, do what looks cool? Anything look interesting? Uh, I don't want to go. I don't want to mess it up too much because there's the, some of these have got completely different depths, and I'm, I want to get tires that actually function. I'll use I'll use these wheels here that seem to be just a, a standardised size. Um, I'm never very good with wheels on cars. Oh, they look a bit interesting. I don't know whether they'll work on a on a Ute, but sure, let's go for it. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I normally just leave wheels stock, but since I don't have a stock option. Uh, yeah, I, I like them. They'll do, actually. Maybe, well, we'll put the tyres on, then we'll see what it looks like uh, once we're done. They were 17, weren't they? Yes. So when we go on running gear tyres, the comfort hard tyres were... Ooh! <gasps> we got V8. Look at these! Oh, we need 18. Uh, I, I have a feeling these won't work, but we're going to give it a try anyway. We need to get uh, Commodore Soft Compound R18. That doesn't... Oh, R17. It is right, sorry. One, two... Okay, then. We will give these a go. I have a feeling these may be too high a grip. Uh, actually, no, they fit that fits pretty well, actually, with... Oh, hmm. It does look like they've slightly pinged off. The wheels are too deep. The, the rims we've got there are too... Oh, that's the shame. They were cool-looking rims. Um, hmm. Okay, we need... Hmm. <laughs> I want to use the proper tyres now. But... Uh, oh, crap. What size were they? They were 17 by 10, weren't they? So we need, like, 17 by 8. I think... 17 by... Uh, oh, there are V8 supercar wheels. I lied. I completely missed them. I do apologise. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect them to be on the front page. One... We could have these. And in theory, aren't they 10 by... Uh, I'm confused. Confused. Oh, it's a shame. I like these, these rims. I'll have to use these again on some of them. They are, I will be honest. They are a little bit... Hmm. They... they they're <laughs> They do only just fit the disc in, and I'm not sure if that doesn't involve a little bit of phasing through going on there. Um, right, do the tyre... Oh, the tyres fit much neater on them. Okay, that's fine then. Uh, we will stick all of these on. There we go, now we've got V8 supercar wheels on me, Ute, and all fits under the wheel arches, which is nice. Uh, we'll get rid of them rims, we'll have to try them on something else. I quite like them. Okay. Wheels, tyres, sorted. Now onto the bodywork, which is interesting <laughs> with this car because there are so many bloody options. So we don't want a boot because we don't have a boot. I think we're a sport wag. No way, because we only have a front door. Uh, we don't have a rear. We don't have rear doors. Front left. Yes, we need a front left and a front right. I think that that should work. Yes, there we go. Okay. That's, that's good. I'm really hoping we can have a silly wing as well. I'm hoping we can borrow the V8 supercar wing and put it on here. <laughs> Body panels. I don't think a bonnet is going to fit. We're going to have to be bonnetless on this particular one. Uh, we don't have a uh, front... Oh, uh, we need a front bumper. Oh, crap. There's so many options and there's tri... There's... Good God. Oh, maybe that's where radiators are. I might have found it. They had nothing to do with the engine. The, the <laughs> God damn it, game. That's where you hide radiators. Okay. So we want Commodore front bumper, yes. Radiator is only visual, apparently, on this engine. On other engines, it's important. Uh, chrome door trimmer. We can have plastic door... I think we'll go for plastic. I'm not a fan of chrome, particularly. So if we go back to here, stick on the front bumper. There we go. Radiator can fit in there. Uh, we can have the fenders, yes, but we can't have the... The bonnet is... <laughs> <laughs> the bonnet is not going to fit on uh, on this thing, which is okay. I mean, I, the supercharger does slightly go through the radiator. Well, the supercharger pulley does. Ah, well, it's fine. It's a specially designed <laughs> supercharger pulley. Uh, or, or radiator. Either way around works, really. Uh, what's under the replacement plug? Oh, good God, I found the I found the, the flatbed stuff. Oh, good God, there's so many parts. We can have a rear bumper and a diffuser. Oh, can I put that on my ute? Oh, please tell me I can have the V8 Supercar bumper. Oh, I should have looked. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> oh, good. There's so many body parts for this car. Okay. Uh, we can go for a flatbed cover. Uh, ute rear bumper. Ah, there's the hatch door. We want that and we want a rear bumper. We want side skirts. There's a right one. There's a left one. Uh, you, you, Liberty walk rear bumper. Yeah, sure. They can go on. 
Oh, we can have the we can have the V8 supercar doors. Yes, yes, we will have them, and we will replace the stuff that we have. Rear fenders we need, and front quarter panels we need. Anything else? Uh, bonnets aren't going to fit. Oh wait, we can have the. Uh, oh, oh, it will fit. We want there's one with a hole in it. Excellent. Oh, we got it. these look cooler. Sorry, we're changing these to the center, front right, front left. Uh, oh god, there's so many options. Oh, we can have a V8 supercar front bumper on as well. Yes, we will have that. Sorry, we're just gonna. <laughs> I'm going to have many body parts of uh, <laughs> Holden lying around. Okay, so we've got a boot. We've got to that. We've got some side skirts. We're going to get rid of these doors because I want the V8 supercar ones. Um, I believe like having lightweight doors will make your car slightly faster in this game. It has got all of that kind of thing. So. Or that, that kind of physics. So having having lightweight doors is good. Not that trying to control five thousand horsepower. That, that <laughs> saving a few pounds on doors probably doesn't really matter. So we were going to have a look because I, I bought all of them and then these ones here look cooler. So we'll have these. I think that I could have. I think it was going to let me put that on it. Yes, it does. Excellent. Does that? F oh, and that almost fits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we might need a little bit of a shunt around to make that oh uh, to make that fit in properly there. Okay. Okay, we'll get rid of that and it's just easier for me to get underneath it. So we've got to shunt this a little further oops, we've got to shunt that a little further back. And then if we put that on Oh no, it's too far back. My bad. Uh, oh no, that's brake balance. Uh good. No, that's still brake balance. I need to click on the oil. There we go. So we want to bring... Oh, which one was it? That one? No, nope. yeah, that one. We want to go a bit further forward. Is that... Nope, that's too bloody far forward now. <laughs> yeah, wrong way. Not... There we go. Is that perfect? Uh, maybe a li tiny bit more forward. Tiny, just little little adjustments, just to make it look right. Uh, uh, wrong way. Uh, there. Please be right. Hey, that'll do. That's close enough. It sort of fits. There's no gear. You can't see any gearbox sticking out of any bit in the middle. I'd say that was fitted. Uh, front bumpers, their doors that we don't need, uh, and then there are what were you? Rear bumper arches. What were they? Oh, there's those little bits there. Okay. Right. It's looking good. My, I'm, I'm pleased with my Ute. And then we go into apart from the suspension. The suspension wasn't designed for this car. It's a, <laughs> it's a little bit wonky. I could. Let's see. I don't think I can adjust. I can't adjust the. I can't move these positions from here like I can with the engine anymore. If I wanted to adjust them, I'd have to go into the editor filey thing, and then spend forever rejigging them. So they're going to have to just stay like that for now. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Sell that. Uh, a rear wing is what I was looking for. Can I get the V8 supercar wing to work? That is my big question. Aerodynamic tuning. Bugger it. There is the V8 supercar wing, but it doesn't fit. Oh, disappointing. We're going to have to go with trunk spoil. I don't really want them. Well, there was a cool one in the replacement parts category. I, well, I say cool one. There we go. Oh, that's a cover extend. I thought that was a wing. What is it? Let's find out. What does it do? Oh, that's what it does. Ah, okay. I can go on. It doesn't really make a... Ah, I think I prefer that, actually. We're not gonna bother. I'm not going to bother with a cover on the flatbed, though. I just, I just prefer it not having it. Okay, are we going to buy a grill as well? Shall we? Shall we buy one of them? Uh, body is it in body panels or I don't know. This is the thing I find most fun about this game. It's just building up, <laughs> rant or building up the cars uh, with all sorts of various parts. The actual sort of building the engine can get a bit fiddly with bits not working properly. Uh, do we have a grill option? We've got lots of options for badges. Holden front badge. Or we, or we could have, we could make it a voxel even. <laughs> no, we will not do that. Where was grill? Was grill not in here? Can do it. That's trunk. Uh, there's just the badges. Grill must be in. Oh, there we go. There's Pontiac grills. Is there no Holden grill? Oh, we need mirrors. We haven't got mirrors. God damn it! That's in the most important part of a car. Okay, maybe some replacement parts have hidden the grill. Uh, um. Oh, hood pins. Yes, we will get some of them. Make it look like a proper race car. Do we have options for uh, the U? Oh, no. Uh, blank front grill. There we go. Found the grills. Retro. Improve. Oh, that's in front bumper. Okay, we'll go with that. 
Right. And then we will stick on some wing mirrors, stick on hood pins, and there's a grill. Okay. We are nearly good to go. We just gotta get some some lights. Yes, we've got to get so we've got to make it look proper. Um and then we've got to get interior. <laughs> uh body. There we go. Lights and windows. None of them are for me. Uh do we want Oh, that's what, yeah. Actually, no, I don't want tinted really. Uh, do, do right, rear, yeah. I can, I can. Pro, I, rear right is really bloody hard to say. Um, and rear win. <laughs> you can have blinds on your Holden if you really wanted to. Oh, we can have the plastic. Yes, yes. We've got to have the the V8 supercars things. We can't have because we can't have the rear one. Uh, uh, because this isn't a... Oh, it's got the, the ute thing. Uh, it's, we need ute tail lights. There we go. Left, right. Do we, I, I'm guessing we can't have... Are there, V8s, are there V8 supercar racing left headlight cover? Oh, yeah, we'll have the cover intake. Racing right headlight cover. Yes, there we go. Uh, I think that's... I think that's... Me sorted. Let's let's try it. So we got front left, front right, windshield, and then rear. There we go. Then we've got the rear lights and then front lights. Well, I say front lights, front cover things for them. Let's look at this. We have our racing Ute is almost ready for testing. We will set, get rid of those windscreens that we're not going to use. Okay, was I going to try and find a spoiler? I was going to have a look at those lip spoilers as well, while I'm at it, before I forget. Uh, no, it wasn't in there, was it? Aerodynamical tuning. Well, have a look, see if it's any good. And stick that on there. <laughs> it's just giving it a tail. <laughs> uh, sure, okay, fine. You know what? It can, it can stay. You can have the, the tail. Whatever. I think we're pretty much done now. Just got to go for the interior. We've got to get a steering wheel somewhere. I saw a V8 super. Yes, there is a V8 supercar one. Excellent. We will have to have that. And then we need a seat or two. Do we have? Oh, do we have an option? Do we have? Ah, there we go. Front V8 supercar seat. Yes, that's all we need. And then we will be good. Right. Put in the seat, put in the steering wheel. Let's just check the seat went on the, for a minute there. I thought the seat was on the wrong side for some reason. No, it's all good. <laughs> we've got our we've got our car. Our our incredibly overpowered racing Ute shall now take to the track. Okay, I'm back. May have crashed. Just a small tiny amount. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Uh, anyway, I've just made a couple of adjustments when uh, when I reloaded the game. I've repainted the car, so we have now orange, and we've got some sort of black highlighty kind of bits. I couldn't really get a proper black and orange the way the the panels worked on this car. So this is the best combination that I could that I could come up with really on uh, on this vehicle. Now I've got to try and drive it. I'm kind of very terrified of this car, if I'm honest, when we look at the, the little information things. 4,634 horsepower in a car that weighs 1,678 kilos. So that's a lot of power in in a ute. I'm pretty sure it's going to be rear-wheel drive. And of course, being a ute, there is not a huge amount of weight over the back. It's going to be slidey. I'm pretty sure. I'm also not don't know how well these tyres are going to work on this. We're going to find out, though. <laughs> oh dear, please don't kill me, car. That is all that I ask of you. Please don't kill me. Uh, right, our test track for this is going to be the Sakuba race. At least our test track for lap times is going to be the Sakuba race circuit. Fastest lap as a set. Well, the fastest lap so far has been set by the Toyota. Crown Royal with a 1.4.6. We're now going to try and go faster in the Ute. Ah, because I don't have any headlights, uh, we we don't have any we don't have any light. It is slightly nighttime here. Never mind, I shall persevere. Regardless, we may have been pointing backwards slightly. <laughs> well, it didn't take oh crap! It didn't take long before it tried to kill me. Oh, and again. 
Hmm. Okay. I think uh, delicate. Be very, very gentle with everything on this car if we're going to keep it in a. Oh dear, there's a wall. We're good. We didn't actually touch the wall. It's perfectly okay. Good God, this thing is. <laughs> it is just. Oh crap. It's. It's actually a little bit weird. If I if I keep it like down here, look at that. It's, it's all perfectly calm. Look at this. I've got four thousand horsepower. And we're all being okay. Look at this, it's so nice, well, well, kind of nice and calmish. Look, woo! <laughs> and then you overcook it by a tiny amount on the trigger. And then suddenly you're sideways. It's terrifying. It, re <laughs> it really is quite ridiculously fast. And then we're going down the straight. Oh, good God, we're at 200, not 200, 150 miles an hour. By the time we get to the final corner, I'm pretty sure this would do 250 miles an hour if I gave it a big enough space. Jesus, this is ridiculous. It's just so... <laughs> it's just so easy to have this car do a stupid, stupid speed. And then it won't stop because it's going far too fast. Uh, and then it doesn't really like the turning. Well, no, actually, it's pretty good. It's pretty good through the corners if you've got the turning sorted and you've got the braking sorted and you get the power delivery out of the corner sorted. If you do all of that, then there's there's a decent amount of grip in this car. I mean, it's, it's running on on racing tyres, sort of. Uh, it's not falling over either, which is nice. And then we're all of the sideways down there. <laughs> oh, please stop! Oh, just just got it stopped. And then we're going to get big wheel spin out of the corner. Will it go quicker? It might go quicker because it's just the ferocious speed in between the corners. Certainly not as nice through the corners as the Toyota. Eww, we're not gonna. Oh, can we make the final corner? Yes, we can. That. Oh, and then we're going to try and get it out of here. Straighten it up and run for the line. Hey, it's gone quicker. A <laughs> one minute three point two for the Ute, and I celebrate by throwing it in the gravel that acts exactly like tarmac. Ah, magic sand trap you have there. Actually, it's not really a sand trap if it acts like tarmac. It's just painted. Never mind. <laughs> okay. This thing is ridiculous. It really is. There's no other way of summing this car up. Oh, we've clonked the... I think we may be damaging the front splitter slightly on the on the high curves. It's just ridiculous. I mean, of course, this or this engine's a drag racing engine. Or at least that's what it's called. Drag racing engine. It's not designed... The front bumper isn't damaged. It's not really designed for this cornering malarkey. It doesn't do... Doesn't it? <laughs> Putting this much power down through quarters is not really what you're supposed to be doing with uh, <laughs> this. Good God, this is a ridiculous thing. Okay, we've got one more lap in this car. This lap's gone. I've spun it too many times. Uh, oh, good God. Can we go any quicker? If I can keep it together, there's potential for it. But I think keeping this thing together and keeping it on the road and have it all point the right direction and all of that sort of thing... It's quite tricky. Come on, car. We're around there. Now, can we get a decent run up towards turn one? We can, but when we do that, I forget to brake. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Good God, this thing is tough to... It's tough. You've got to coordinate everything. You've got to be so smooth with the throttle if you want it to stay pointing in a straight line. You've got to brake very early, because otherwise it's so easy to get carried away with the speed of the car. It's a tough vehicle to drive this one. It's monumentally quick if you can keep it in the keep it in the safe zone if you like. If you can keep it in the zone where it's not trying to constantly kill you. It is very fast just because it has got so much power. Uh, round, and it handles it handles the corners well when it's not when it's not oversteering and you've slowed it down enough. It does have decent grip through here. Just you, trying to use that much power is as difficult as you would expect really. As we come down the back straight, how quick can we get it down this back straight before I dare, before I have to break? 140. Oh, that's not a good way to take the final corner. That's not, <laughs> that's not yeah, that's not ideal, really. Whew. Well, this is a scary, scary contraption, really. The, <laughs> the, Holden, the Holden Commodore Ute goes fastest, but... Uh, <laughs> spend a lot of time spun out and pointing backwards. This is a terrifying car. In, it's fun in the absolutely ridiculously scary way, but it made it around the track in a new quickest time. 
Okay, I'm back. Sorry, the game is up to its usual tricks of crashing on me a lot. <laughs> anyway, yes, there is another test that I would quite like to do with these cars. Uh, for those of you that remember my old uh, Street Legal stuff, this was a great fun cine... cine? Silly, that's the better way of putting it. A uh, silly little game mode that to, uh, to mess around with. Uh, now somewhere, it's over here if I remember correctly. Uh, also I learnt this car has only got three gears. So we're saying we only ever use sort of second and third. Well that's because this gearbox has only got three gears. Which means that it tops out at about 150, 160 miles an hour. Which seems a little bit odd. And this is the only gearbox I think I can install with this engine. But there you go. I, even for drag racing I would have thought three gears and top it out at 160 is not really enough. Uh, but anyway, yes, the game mode is, it's the weight challenge. This is huge fun and very, very silly. <laughs> Basically, very large weights are dropped at your car, as you can see over there. Uh, the more that you dodge, sort of the higher the level you get to, the more frequently the weights are dropped and the closer they are dropped to your car, so it makes them harder to avoid. Sometimes they can drop on, did that one just balance on some trees? I want to go have. I want to go turn around and have a look at that one. Um, ooh, oh, it didn't quite balance on the trees. God damn it! If it did fall off, ooh, this is now getting quite dangerous. Um, if you stay below, I think it's 25 miles an hour for any length of time, uh, game is it's game over. So basically, if I hit one of these or get crushed by one of these, it's pretty much game over. Uh, you would think at this stage things are pretty easy, things are pretty straightforward. Really, I've got plenty of time to react, and I'm actually being quite careful on the ooh, on the throttle here. I kind of like this engine in that I can I can sort of drive it sensibly for this. I mean, I can keep it at about 70, 80 miles an hour, and you know we've got no real problems. Now we drop down a little bit to 60, but uh, <laughs> we actually aren't. Ooh, crap! Oh, that was close. That was really. <laughs> <laughs> that was really very close. Let's go over here. Um, yeah, like d driving at this speed with an engine this powerful, I thought would be really hard. It's actually not as challenging as I as I thought. Uh, but if we try and push it any more, that's when we start going sideways. Oh, there's a Mr. Policeman over there who doesn't care about me <laughs> because I'm dodging the humongous weights being thrown at me. Uh, end of fun. Oh dear, that's the. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a scary thing to hear. Perhaps I shouldn't go on here where I've got no. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh! Oh! I was saved by a. Uh, I was saved by the fence there. Can we go forward? I don't know what damage that did. Oh! <laughs> I was so. I was just completely and utterly saved by that fence there. Thank you. Thank you, good fence. You saved my ute. I mean, we got some damage. I mean, the big weight landed on the back of our car. We got some damage. And I should point out, this game has got a seriously good damage model. For, for the age of this game... Oh dear, I've hit an invisible wall. For the age of this game, the customization and the damage model on it are quite frankly incredible. It really is very, very good. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, I got away with just minor scratches. If that had landed on my car, it would have flattened it. I got so lucky there. Uh, so we got to level 4. I'll have to check the... Oh, it actually hit the windscreen as well, if we can show that. It, it's, it's taken a big dent out of the windscreen on the way over. Yeah. <laughs> By luck. I'll take a look at the... I'll, I'll have to look back at what my score was, and I'll write that down for future reference. It survived pretty well. In the end I got screwed over. It was just the power. There is so much power. It's so easy to spin out. That's what uh, screwed me over. Well, there we go. That is it for a incredibly powerful Holden Commodore Ute. I do I do love the Utes. I love the, 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 the standard real-life Utes. They're such incredible cars. Uh, have I buggered? I might have buggered the engine up from doing too many donuts. <laughs> have I killed it? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I killed my car completely on my own without the weights dropping on it. But there we go. That is the that is the Ute. It took it took a bit of damage. I mean, we've got a crack. Uh, we've got a bent windscreen. This is all that perspex used. We bent up the back, but really, damage-wise, that got off pretty lightly. I'm going to leave that uh, leave it here for today, guys. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.